Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is your friendly neighborhood Oxhorn, and here I am on my Institute character, getting ready to do power play. Now, the goal of this video is actually a little bit of an experiment. In the previous times I did power play on my previous characters, I tried to side equally with at least two of the raider factions. In this one, I gave absolutely everything to the disciples, so I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen. Will two of them rebel against me? Will only one of them rebel against me? How will Bethesda decide which one rebels against me? So, uh, this is in part an experiment trying to figure that out, and in part uh, a little bit of a gameplay showing off the very end to the Nuka World DLC. So, for those of you who have not completed the Nuka World DLC. This does contain some plot spoilers. It's the very end. We're going to be turning on the power to the Nuka World uh, 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 factory and the, the power plant and all of that. But let's get on into it. Also, um, I am streaming live right now. I am broadcasting. So for those of you watching on Thanksgiving Day, this is a recording. For those of you watching the day before Thanksgiving. Hi, I'm live. Good to see you, everybody. Uh, I figured I would shoot this and publish it on Thanksgiving Day so that I don't have to work on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> I, I plan to go out and drink a lot of eggnog and eat a lot of turkey. All right, so let's get to it. Let's head on over. So one of the things, just before I go, I've been using my Pikmin's Blade a lot because I have been working really hard to conserve ammunition. Um, I've been doing okay. I think I've got over 100 of each type now. Yeah, this character is specced into Commando, and my god, with low charisma, it is extremely difficult to get the ammunition you need. So, uh, I'm actually going to switch to an, an automatic weapon, probably the Problem Solver, since I am bound to get a lot of 7.62 ammunition off of these raiders. Alright, let's do this thing. Caitlin Edgehill says, first time catching you live, happy to be here. Uh, J.M. Smith says, same with me. Well, pleasure to have you guys on the program. I hope everyone is looking forward to a big feast tomorrow. Oh! Who's shooting at me? Okay, well, the, the operators definitely rebelled. Let's see if the pack did as well. I thought I heard more gunshots. Was it just that one operator? Shank, what's going on? Shank. God damn it. Bad news, boss. Let's turn up the sound. Sorry. <clears throat> Sometimes I forget to do this. The operators have turned on us. Just the operators? Seems they didn't like how you were doling out territory. Mags, William, and their whole damn crew went and stormed Nuka World's power plant. The other bosses, well, they're waiting on you before they move in. You better get up there and put an end to those turncoats before they do something stupid. Well, something else stupid. That is interesting. So, I gave all of the parks to just the disciples, and I also gave all of the settlements that I had to sack in order to get to this point in the game to just the disciples. But it looks like only the operators turned on me despite the pack not getting anything from me. Uh, and now I wonder exactly how the game makes that calculation. All right, let's go meet them at the bo at the bottling plant or at the, at the power plant and I don't believe I've gone there yet. So yeah, I've got a bit of a ways to go. Let's go to Nuka Galaxy. I'll be able to Jetpack over the wall that way. Today I'm drinking some Glen Cullen 10 year old single malt scotch whiskey. Chin chin. Those watching live are, are watching me enjoy it. Uh, Alright, how do we get up over there? Uh, then up over there. By the way, I just got my jetpack. It took me forever. I don't know why. I beat the game at such a low level with this character that she was extremely underpowered for a long time. So I just got the rank of science necessary to get a jetpack on this character, and I am loving it. By the way, the Institute power armor is just so beautiful. It's such a beautiful main job. 
And I have my helmet off for your benefit. Uh, because I think people enjoy seeing my character more. Um, I hope it doesn't hurt me. Because <laughs> I, I have to do the end of this DLC without a helmet on. and uh, Well, we'll see what happens. Chris Gaming says, Hello there, Oxhorn. I just subscribed to you today. Well, uh, you, sir, are a man of exquisite taste. Yeah. All right. Oh. Dang on, crickets. You're going to make me use up all my ammunition before I get... Before I even get to the, the factory, the power plant. Do you have the Quantum X01 asks Late Pickle? No, I do not. This is just a regular old set of uh, X01 power armor. I have the Quantum X01 on all my other characters, but not on this guy yet. Because in order to get the X01, you have to... You know what? I am not going to waste all my ammunition trying to chase down a cricket. Great, a legendary cricket. Hey, I foresee this being a problem. I'm just at crickets and I'm having a hard time. All right, hold on. All right, we're going to put my helmet on. That's it. I'm just not... I don't want to die. Let's put the helmet on. I have 16 rounds left. I started with over 100. Ugh. All right. What difficulty do you play on, asks Winchester. I play on very hard. It used to be survival, but then they completely revamped survival and turned this into very hard. All right, I've never done this before. The last time I completed the game with uh, the Raiders, I sided with the operators in the pack. So this will be my first time seeing the dialogue options with the disciples. Let's find out what happens. Looks like Mags and William are dug in pretty well up there. We gonna go up there and pull their asses out? Or even better, kill them where they stand. Either way, looks like we're about to find out. The boss is here. While you were off doing your thing, Mags and William got all the operators together and took over the power plant. If those idiots think they're gonna get away with this, they're dead wrong. I'll skin them alive. I can't leave this place for five minutes without everything going to hell. Hey now, if you're looking to blame someone, they're up there in that goddamn power plant taking pot shots at us as we speak. Word came back from the Commonwealth that you're favoring the pack and the disciples. That's untrue. Well, surprise, surprise. I haven't given the Mags pack a William thing. didn't take the news so well. They took their gang and muscled into the power plant. Now they got the entire place locked down. You better not let them get away with this, boss. We want payback, and we want it now. And we're not talking about some slap on the wrist here. Mags and William need to pay for what they've done. All right, you bloodthirsty monsters. They were dead the monsters. moment they decided to take out some of my crew. Look, boss, this is your play. You've had our back, so we'll watch yours. But you have to swear to us that Mags and William will pay. They're as good as dead. They're as good as dead. We're with you on this. All the way. The disciples will make sure no one escapes. I'm going to enjoy this. Yeah, I bet you will, you crazy. All right, um, let's go ahead and do this. I've got 16 rounds left, but these guys drop the correct ammunition, so. Uh, let's see if I can get enough ammunition. I can always switch to a cell or a plasma, but I'd like to save that ammunition if I can. Can you guys walk any slower? By the way, I have recently done some major cooling upgrades to my PC, which has helped in uh, the, reduce, uh, the, the reduction of dropped frames and stuttering. So I hope that viewers of my live stream and this recording notice a difference. If you do notice a difference, let me know in the comments uh, so that I know whether or not this has worked. 
right out of the gate a legendary operator. And I'm out of ammunition. All right. Uh, well, let's just go to... Alright. Nice. Yeah, I finally got Never a legendary assault rifle. Okay, I'm mad now. Someone else One. Buttercup! Look at all the corpses flying. Make sure I get that ammunition. Alright! Should I waste ammunition shooting at the... No, that's right. I'll be up there later. So after we, after we climb through the power plant, we're gonna get to the top. I'm not gonna waste ammunition trying to be a sniper with an automatic cell. A uh, fusion cell gun. All right, let's do this. Come on, X6. What? I thought the disciples killed everything. Area secure. Or the uh, you think that if the operators have come on in here, that all of the ghouls will be gone? All right, all right. You're gonna regret this. Who's there? The problem with the Institute of Guns is that they're just so bulky. Oh, that's right, I haven't tried this gun yet. Takes the same ammunition, so let's try that. This is Protectron's gray, uh, Gaze, it's what you get if you kill I I Isabel Cruz from the Automatron DLC. This is my evil character, by the way. Oh, and I like it. So I am, of course, uh, choosing all the evil options. Wait, He's shooting at me. Hey, hey. Nice try. You better not shoot at me unless I can stand right in your face and shoot you back. So long, Goodness gracious. How many legendary operators have we, uh... Have we had to Damn. fight so far? No one's gonna know it. Goodness. All right, who else is shooting at me? I will loot this place later. Right now, I just gotta clear it of operators. And I am plowing through my fusion cells. Okay. How are we doing on status? I took a lot of food. Looks like my max AP, endurance, and energy is all that is sticking with me so far. I ate a lot of food just before arriving here. Where, Where is everybody? There he is. Come on, Mason, join the fight. And where's Nisha? She's the one that's talking all sorts of nonsense. She's not even here. She talks up the most, and she's not even following us into the fight. Where'd she go? I, I went the wrong way. Oh man, I'm the one. It, it's not Nisha, it's me. I went the wrong way. <laughs> Alright, sorry everybody. Alright, I will find exactly where we're supposed to go. So there's the body over there, which means I've been there. There's not a body over here, which means I have not been here. Let's see. Lock tight. Alright. This will be over real soon. What? Whoa! Calm down! I love this gun! Protectron's Graze. Uh, Protectron's Gaze. 
25% faster fire rate and 15% faster reload. It is an excellent assault weapon. Um, compare it to a Virgil's weapon. No, not Virgil's. What's the other one? Oh, I haven't bought it yet. No, here. Here's my plasma. I'll, I'll, I'll use this if I have to. If I completely run out of cells, I'll use it. But you buy this at the, in, at the Institute. This is the Experiment 18A. 25% faster fire rate, 15% faster reload speed. It's got the exact same legendary effect, but it's on a plasma. Also, another wonderful assault weapon. Okay, I assume this is the way to go. No, that's the locked no gate. Way, that's right, I this. forgot. What's in there? Is that a full suit of XO1? When you don't need it, they drop like candy. Okay, heads up. It's been a while since I've done this. So I don't really remember. If oh. I look like I'm enjoying this, it's because I am. <laughs> Mason! Calm down, buddy. He's a bloodthirsty guy. You know, Mason is uh, hes a reprobate, but he's a funny reprobate. Uh, bait. Can't help but uh, but like the guy while hating him as well. <laughs> yeah, I will I will loot this place later. I know I'm concerned with ammunition, but I want to kill the operators before uh, before too long. Then I'll come back. Who's who's the legendary operator? Where? Oh, down here we go. Oh, come on, reload. That's right. Give me the crit. There we go. Oh man, two with one clip. I'm loving it. This is my favorite gun ever. Now I have gone through half of my ammunition. So that's nice. Who else is shooting? Mason, who's shooting at you? There we go. Okay. Save here. Just in case, because you never know what will happen. Let's reload. And let's go get the operators. Oh, a cigar job. Hold on. Important things here. Got to relight the cigar. What the hell? Work! Whoa! Goodness gracious! here too. No? Alright. I guess I gotta go back to the parlor and kill Lizzie. Plant control room key. Operator sniper, don't need any of that. Operator sniper, don't need any of that. Alright, we did it! Yay, raiders! We killed the other raiders! Whee! Hey there. I'm gonna hunt those operators down one by one. Hmm. Right. I guess before I can have dialogue options with them, I need to go and turn the power plant back on. Here we go. Let's turn the power on. All right. Are you guys ready to blow up Megaton? I mean, I mean, are you ready to uh, 
to do whatever this is, turning on power. Yeah, this is a megaton, come on. Ah, and the grid is alive. Woo! Look at all them fireworks. Oh, it's a pretty sight. Alright, uh, and I probably can't get that. Yeah, I can't pick the lock. Uh, uh, Alright, I want to go talk to the remaining raiders because last time I did, they gave me something. So when I did this on my Brotherhood of Steel character, I sided. Hey, what's up, Nisha? Hey, Nisha. See you back at Nuka Town, boss. Oh, that's it? You're going to make me wait to go back to Nuka Town? What about you? Are you going to make me wait to go back to Nuka Town? Excuse me. With all the lights turned on, this place is almost as pretty as me. Oh yeah, you gorgeous guy. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, when I when I sided with the operators in my Brotherhood of Steel playthrough, uh, if I talked with Mags Black afterwards, she gave me a unique weapon. And I'm hoping that I get a similar reward having sided with the Disciples. But knowing my luck, it's going to be some horrible knife or something, some melee knife. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and try and loot this place. Because I kind of went through the entire dungeon really quickly. For those of you watching the recording, if you're not interested in watching me loot the place with scintillating commentary, you might want to skip ahead in 10 minutes or so when I fast travel to Nuka World and talk with these chaps. They just want to hang out here. This is weird. The operators walked all the way back to Nuka World when I played through last time. Is that a pipe? Ooh, look at this, a cash. A cash stash. Baseball, baseball. Gotta get the cork. Cork from the baseballs. All right. Make sure I looted these guys, and I didn't. Oh, these were the guys on the roof. Lots of sniper rifles that I do not need. I try to remember how I came in here. Was it down here? Yeah. Now for a tour of the entire place. Getting as much ammunition as I can. Let's see what I did. I started with over 700. No, no, no. It was 400 plasma cells. And I've gone about through half of my plasma. And then I started with over 700 regular fusion cells. To put that in perspective, it's over 2,000 caps with this character with a charisma of one to get. Uh, about 130 fusion cells from a vendor, so I'm really dependent upon looting just to keep this character alive and to make this character viable. There, oh look! I got a nuke power recipe. Should I? No. <laughs> I don't have time for lore. Maybe someday I'll come back and do it. Ooh, but I do have time. I do have time to unlock a terminal. Uh, no, man, it doesn't unlock the... doesn't unlock the... safe. Duffel bag! Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm excited about this because I finally got a, a legendary assault rifle. It's the only automatic weapon that I didn't have a legendary for. This is the one that I was using, a fully upgraded assault rifle. And you see I renamed them uh, to include the kind of ammunition they take. This helps me with my uh, inventory management. Let's see, what was it that I got? I got a Stalker's Assault Rifle. If you're not yet in combat, increases VAT's accuracy, but costs more AP. Eh. 
The Broom Groove says, Oxron, your bowler is sexy, as always. Well, I do try. I do try. So. I love getting uh, five millimeter ammunition, uh, only because I get a whole lot of it, and I can sell each round for one cap, which means I can get a whole lot of caps. All of these locked safes. See, this is what happens when I follow other people's guides. The things that I want to do, like unlock things, I won't be able to do. <laughs> Here I am, I'm in my level 40s, and I can't unlock the safe. Alright, I know I forgot some things. Oh, I'm not at the bottom. You never know what you might find. You never know, do ya? X6. By the way, X6, he's a sociopath. I'll be covering him in another video. But if you just listen to the conversations, the, the dialogue options that he has, the guy is unstable. I mean, he straight up says things like, uh, uh, I can't wait until the entire above ground population is dead. And you're like, really? The entire above ground population? That's a lot of people, son. You really want them all to die? All right, let's go uh, see if the bosses have made their way back, and probably not, because the game takes into account real-world travel time, so our best bet is to walk back to Nuka World and make sure I looted all the operators on the way. That's one thing I just really want to understand. Why did the game choose the operators? Why didn't it choose the pack? Is it just a dice roll? Because I did not give the pack a thing. The disciples in this playthrough have every single park and every single settlement that I uh, that I took. Gotta loot all the hub flowers I can find because I'm constantly making Jet and Psycho. To, uh, to produce Psychojet, which is amazing. You saw me use Psychojet in that final battle between Mags and, uh, and her brother. Blue Moon says, who likes the Disciples? I know, right? They're the evilest, most disgusting raider faction here. So naturally, I chose to side with them with my evil Institute character. Right? You see my logic going on here? <laughs> My cigar is lonely. There we go. Let's see, what's the fastest way to the entrance? I'm gonna have to take this all the way around. Oh my goodness, that's a long walk. Well, I know, I can just go cut across. That's all, I'll just cut across. Posterior Extractor says X6 basically has no personality like Preston. I disagree. Their personalities are not interesting, but they do have personalities. Hold on. I am not going to waste any of my plasma ammunition on a feral ghoul. Preston's personality is, you know, single-minded. He's got one ambition and one goal. He's trying to make the Commonwealth a better place. And so he sees everything, all of his, his moral choices in life are, are seen through that lens about protecting the commonwealth. I hear gunfire. Where's that coming from? Am I going to get myself in trouble by investigating this? Probably. He sees the entire, he sees his entire reality through that, uh, that lens of protecting the Commonwealth. So you do get to understand a lot about Preston by talking with him and seeing the choices he made. Later on, he confides with you. I'm not going to fight a bear right now. <laughs> let's let's go back and talk to let's th talk to the raider bosses. Uh, X6 similarly. Oh, here's another suit of of uh, X01.
Took me so long to get my two suits of XL1. Ah! I'm wasting 10 millimeter ammunition on this guy. <laughs> Calm down, buddy. Golly. Whoo. Hey, at least I got five plasma cartridges off of him. X6 is just completely indoctrinated. And that, incidentally, should tell you something about the Institute, right? I mean, you can't have it both ways. Either synths are real people, and the Institute is wrong for enslaving them, real people capable of independent thought, or... The Institute programmed X6 to be a psychopath. Because X6, as bland as you may think his personality is, he has an interesting personality because he is passionate. He is passionate about the Institute. He is passionate about battle and about killing people. He is passionate about wiping out Commonwealth settlers whom he thinks hold humanity back. That's what his passion is, even though we may disagree with it. And... Either he's an independent person who came upon those opinions on his own, or the Institute programmed him as a robot to think that way. Either way, the Institute is a monster for doing so, right? The Institute, it's just, you can't have it both ways. There's no redeeming quality there. All right, there's the Galactic Zone. There's a little path over here. Let's cut across this way. Man, my cigar's out again. This is what I get for trying to smoke a cigar while doing a live broadcast. I get to talking, and then my cigar goes out. I have to be careful or else you'll be able to watch me singe my eyebrows off here live on television. Okay, the power is restored, which means the Ferris wheel is going to work and all the rides in the Galactic Zone are going to work. But I'm more interested in getting into... Am I going to have to go all the way around? Whence... Yeah, the opening is over here. Oh, there was one over here. Oh, well, this is the closest one now. Scotch! Run faster! There we go. Nuka Town, USA. Let's hope Nisha has made her way back. Otherwise, we're going to have to do a lot of waiting and sleeping. Boss, someone's coming through the gauntlet. Go see Fritch. He'll tell you what to do. Okay. That sounds fun. I mean, I don't need a Gatling laser on this character, but who knows? All right, Nisha, you better be back. Savoy, Dixie. Things are boring as hell since Nisha made his team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with other people. Come on, Nisha. Uh. She's not here. Well, let's go see if Mason is here. So far, so good. I'm locked in at a steady 60 FPS, according to my FPS counter. <clears throat> Even though my CPU is getting rather hot, it just got up to 84C. What the heck? I'm not used to it getting that hot. But, uh... 
So far, the stream is still buttery and smooth. I did overclock it recently, so You're that might be You're smarter than the last boss. It's not like it's some big challenge. Oh, that's right. Sooner or later, Cappy. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find that's right. There are going to be some disciples, operators I have to kill. Let's kill the operators. Maybe that'll give us enough time to watch the other guys get back. And do I have... Yeah, let's use my 10 millimeter. <laughs> let's use my 10 millimeter to kill off the rest of the uh, the, uh, the operators. I think gotcha. I'm coming for you. Right here. Right here. Look at Josh. Oh, that's so great. I love it. The blue glow coming out of this suit of power armor is amazing. Something's out there. You're dead. There's Lizzie. Good. She's tough. I think I might have to switch uh, switch to something a little bit more hard uh, hardcore here. Let's. But with such valuable ammunition, you're gonna have to call this a fight. Didn't think this through, Dick. There we go. Whoa! You're shooting at me. Okay, let's switch back to my 10 millimeter. <laughs> no, let's use my, my assault rifle. I'll loot this whole place later. I just want to kill all the operators. Kill them all. Kill them all. Any more operators? Nope, I think I might have got rid of them all. By the way, you should read the terminals here in the operator's parlor. It reveals a lot of backstory between Mags and her brother, Willem. They're a bunch of spoiled kids. Like, they were raised by a really rich set of parents. And they were spoiled their entire lives, constantly demanding from mummy and daddy. Finally, when mummy puts her foot down and says, No kids, you're no longer getting free cars, free money, free whatever. We don't know if they killed their parents, but they definitely steal from their parents and run off to become raiders so the operators are just a bunch of spoiled little and this is why there is no redeeming raider faction there is no good raider faction because if you side with the disciples you're siding with a bunch of sociopaths who delight in eviscerating their enemies and then hanging their corpses up to drain if you side with the uh, pack you're siding with a bunch of people who do animal cage fights set against animals and settlers <laughs> and if you side with the operators, you, you're siding with the children of a bunch of rich parents, a bunch of spoiled kids who didn't want to work, and so they became raiders, right? There's that all of the raider factions are just evil. And Mason must still be coming back. Uh, let's do a bit of fast traveling. Because <laughs> I need to drop off some gear anyway. Dark Griff says true, but they lack a moral compass in how they want to do that. It means that they can justify anything if for the sake of progress, even genocide. This is the problem with cause. I mean, you're right. This is the problem with causes. Causes can blind you to the morally gray areas of life. And having, being too passionate about one cause can cause you to make really horrible, monstrous decisions. I mean, this even comes into play with the railroad. I love the railroad. I think they're, I think what they're doing is a net good for humanity. But they don't save anybody in the Institute when they destroy it. Only the Minutemen have I know you'll take the time to save anybody in the Institute when blowing it up. 
when you're in here with Desdemona doing the railroad uh, playthrough, they don't even take a, a moment to breathe. So all of the scientists, all of the children in the Institute, whom we know are decent human beings, based on the terminals we read, are dead. They just die. They are killed. Uh, the only one, who, the only one who saves them is the Minutemen. All right, I, I dropped off all my junk. Let's do some fast travel, but let's take some time. Mick, the popcorn pig, says Mag's mother were in Diamond City, but they moved to the capital wasteland, so they can't be robbed of by Mag's and her brother. Ah, thanks. Yeah, my recollection of the, the terminals were, were hazy. So they didn't kill their parents, but they were robbing from their parents in Diamond City, and then causing their parents to move to the capital wasteland to simply be away from their children. As a parent, that terrifies me. It makes me want to make sure that I raise my kids right, <laughs> so that I don't spoil them that much. All right, I've given them plenty of time to walk back here. I just want to see if they give me some unique weapons. That's all I care about. Vernard Ulrich says, When I did the railroad ending, there were a few comments about sounding the alarm for everyone to evacuate. Are you sure? Because I know that if you do the Miniman ending, Preston makes sure before you push that big red button, he says... Mason. You're sure that you that you sounded the alarm to get rid of everybody. Where are, where is everybody? Unless you ain't fond of your fingers. All right, I might have to do that another day. I'm not going to waste your time with this uh, long broadcast. But I don't recall if that's true for the railroad. I'm going to have to double check that. I'll look into that. I don't remember. I don't remember the railroad giving you the option to sound the alarm. But I I, I admittedly could be wrong. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, this was a fun little broadcast for Thanksgiving. I hope all of you watching the recording on Thanksgiving Day are having a lovely day, hopefully with friends and family, and hopefully with a lot of pumpkin pie, pecan pie, turkey, stuffing, and mashed potatoes. And if you're not an American and you're not celebrating this holiday, well, then maybe go out and eat something amazing today anyway. Who knows? <laughs> Well, anyway, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Tune in tomorrow morning for another great video. I'm going to have a, a video for you tomorrow morning, as I do every single day of the week, on some amazing topic. I just wanted to share this with you, since I was going to be doing Power Play on my Institute character anyway. I figured I would share it with you, and together we could discover if the decisions you make when assigning territory to raiders really matters. And it does, to a certain extent, if you favor two instead of one, but if you only favor one faction, it doesn't matter. The game randomly chooses one of the other two factions to become the enemy. I kind of wanted it to choose both of them, so I could get rid of both the pack and the operators, which would give me more ammunition to loot off of corpses as I run around Nuka World. Anyway, thanks for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. This was a blast. Be sure to subscribe for more Fallout 4 content and consider becoming a patron on Patreon if you like what I do and you want to support me in a more personal way. But as I always say here, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just glad you're here watching. Have a good one and I'll see you tomorrow bright and early with a brand new video.